Hello, everybody, and um, I'm going to take this opportunity to have a, to do a quick run through of how to use this system to prepare our students for the HSK YCT online test and um, Confucius Institute headquarters introduced this system out uh, in response to the COVID-19 lockdown. Many students needed to take the test, but they are unable to do it. So now, and uh, they introduced this home edition to allow students worldwide continue, finish their test uh, in this challenging time. So I'm on this page for the mock test website. I will share the link in our PDF file after this. You can see the language choice. Uh, I suggest that all of you choose English. And then now in this page, you are able to test your equipment. And you can see my camera or my laptop is working. And the sun is working. And then here, it has the, your Wi-Fi connection, whether it's normal or abnormal. And if it's abnormal, you can retest. Once everything's tested, working really well, and you can move on. From this page, and you can see if the sound is working. And then for speaking tests, you need to test if your recording works and you can re uh, play as well. And now you can go to the next page. In this page, please read the instruction for the test very carefully. And uh, before the exam date, read them really carefully and uh, let me know if there's any questions about them. And then make sure you tick you have read it on the personal detail login page and you can put down your name your email address and your gender and then nationality just like everything you uh have put on your uh, on your passport in the exam level page you can choose hsk levels or vct levels in uh, for your exam, you will have the VCT drop list available as well. This is just a mock system for people to experience to, to see how the system will be like and have experience. Try it before the exam day. Okay, let's just do that. And you say, oh, sorry, I have to put some detail in there to allow us to move forward. And um, so for the exam page, and uh, the office will email you your exam certificate with your examiner's number on it by email directly. We will uh, 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 remind you to make sure you get the email. And then here you need to put uh, accurate detail just like uh, uh, what you have on your passport. And then you can confirm everything's correct then the exam paper starts uploading, uh, downloading. And it can take uh, up to two minutes, depending on your network, maybe it can be quicker. So the exam of, uh, examination board recommend we can log in the system 45 minutes before the exam time and start doing all the checking and then download the paper. So you have everything ready before the exam time start. The exam will start right on time, will not wait. So get everything ready beforehand. No later, no later than 10 minutes before the exam time. Now the paper is downloading. And then once the paper is fully downloaded, and then it's the time for the exam, the exam will start automatically. And then it's always introduce you what it is first and uh, this session always read out some example 
first, then you will hear. Now it begin, and uh, the first question or the question number, and then you listen carefully. Choose the correct answer. First part is always the listening, and finish that. Some levels you got reading, some levels got writing. Step by step, each session allow you the time. On the right hand side here, while we're waiting for the paper to download, have a look at the right hand, right top here on the page. You will see the time, how long we are into the exam time now. For each session, the time will change, tells you how much time left for this session. Try to do your best, do not run out of time for each session. And then now the paper download, downloading is completed. By this moment, you must have had done some mock paper test already. So you are familiar with the layout and the question, how to answer them already. It's identical. Apart from, you have to scroll up and down here to check the options and to check correct number of questions and then where to put your answer. Okay. At the end of the session, you finish all your questions, you can click here to find out how many questions you have completed, how many questions you haven't done, and double check, don't miss out a question if you have time. Font size, if you feel struggle uh, with eyesight looking at the computer, you can change it to larger font. And once every section of your paper has been finished, and you can submit the paper. Oh, when listening part finished, you have finished it, but you still have some time left. For this session, you won't be able to move to the next session. And when you finish, listen to all the questions. The system gives you five more minutes to double check your answers, to finish it off if you haven't. Then the reading part will start automatically. And then you go continue with the rest of the questions. Same for the writing part. And uh, YCT level one, two, three, HSK one and two do not have writing test. You only have listening and reading part. So once everything is finished, okay, let's say is correct. Then you go to next. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at my answer sheet. I answer the two questions. Okay, so assume we have finished the whole paper, submit. The system will ask you, are you sure you want to submit? Then once you submitted the paper, the system calculated the marking instantly. You will be able to see your listening's result and reading's result. And you can see the details of how well you did, where you made a mistake, and then finish, end of the test. So 10 days after, 10 days after the exam date, you go into this page. I will share this link, chinesetest.cn. On the left bottom there, in this session here, you put your exam certificate number, tracking number there, full name, as it's shown on the certificate. Then you can check your score report. From this point, 
if you find your score report is available, you are able to print it instantly, but be careful there's only one time opportunity for you to print only once. You won't be able to go back the second time to print it. So what I recommend is always export it, download it into PDF file and save it for yourself. This is another advantage that you can save it rather than a paper copy now. So you can print it out anytime, as many times as you need in the future. So that's a quick run through of the online system for the exam. There are some uh, more information details I will send in PDF file. Any questions, just message us. And I wish you very best of luck in the test. Thank you very much for listening. 再见。